We now live in what I call the tribal economy. This is no longer the information age where people are, are on their devices trying to find information. We've been there and done that. What we're trying to do now as people is filter out information. We're not trying to consume more. We're trying to filter out. By the way, those that are in a habit of just consuming content after content after content, I would suggest are actually sedating and numbing from the things that they actually know they're supposed to do. So we're not, you can see that we're not trying to play into their sedation by providing more information that tickles their ears, right? We're not trying to create eye candy for people that make them all excited that something's flashy and new. What we're trying to do is pierce through all that to get to the, to the heart, to get to the space where it resonates with them in a massive way so that they know this is different than everything else. In the tribal economy, this is how people make decisions. They're not making de decisions based on the information of things. They're making decisions based on the connection of things. Do I feel like I trust you? Do I feel safe with you? Do I feel like you're being sincere and gen generous and genuine with me? Most marketing is not done that way. It doesn't feel safe. It feels like you're trying to trick me. And so most transactions that happen are very guarded. When you can market from a place of you coming out from behind your mask first so that they can come out from behind their mask, what you have is an authentic exchange. But this, and this is what the tribal economy is built on. This human exchange, me trusting you because you're safe and transparent rather than you trying to play the game of marketing. So when you do this, what happens is real connection gets made.